Hey guys, it's Mona coming at you today. Today is February 17th, 2000 and I was going to say 14, y'all. 2016, um, I had a gastric bypass on 7-17-2014 with Dr. Karina McCarthy here in Maryland, the Holy Cross Hospital. So I figured um, I would make this quick video. Um, I'm going to talk about fluids and my fluid intake for basically what I drink, period. It's not necessarily in a day's worth because there's a couple protein shakes I want to share with you. But um, and I only drink one or two protein shakes a day, depending on what my protein levels are, what, what's needed, basically. Um, so basically, yeah, so it'll be about fluids and I maybe I'll throw in a couple of snacks or something like that in there at the end. But OK, so let's get started. Water. I know this has a flavor packet in it um, and I'll actually go over the flavor packets that I really, really enjoy as well. Um, I try to get in, get 70 to 80 ounces of water in every single day. And it's hard, especially, it's hard for everybody for real, but it really is hard for uh, weight loss surgery patients because, you know, we can only hold a little bit of, at a time of liquid or, or food in our, in our pouches or our little tiny, um, our sleeves or whatever, depending on what surgery you had or your little pouch that you had after your band. So it's just really hard to basically keep that up. And um, but you got to keep sipping throughout the day. It really is. You think about it, it is hard. But if you just have a water bottle at your desk, if you're working or you just have it, if you're watching TV, just sip every single time you remember. Just just keep sipping Four regular size, 16.9 um, uh, water bottles like the Deer Park water bottles is exactly what you need for your basically for your daily intake every day. And that's 64 ounces, basically. So um, at least you can get that. You know what I mean? So if you have to get a Brita filter, a uh, Brita pitcher like I have, and fill it up um, uh, multiple times a day or once a, once a day or whatever and keep pouring it into the same water bottle, do what you got to do. I have about 25 of these dead on blender bottles. <laughs> no, that's kind of exaggerative. Probably about five <laughs> um, of the blender bottles. Um, one for my specifically for my protein shakes, and then the other ones I kind of interchange them depending on whatever liquid or whatever I want to drink. So make it fun for yourself um, because that also helps too. If you have a cool water bottle or um, you know different shapes, sizes, whatever, it actually does help. So a lot of people, some people get gallons of water and just chugs it all day. I'll chug up. Blah, blah, blah. chug it all day so they can just do it that way but um but I used to do that but I tell you I, I don't know I gave that up <laughs> I don't know but I probably should start that again but regardless okay so listen other than the water um I do drink a protein shake every single morning um it, for me it it helps me get my vitamins down, the, the my morning vitamins, which is actually almost all my vitamins, plus my blood pressure pill. It helps me get everything down. So this is the Premier Protein Shake, which almost everybody drinks. Um, the strawberry flavored is the only flavor that I will drink of this line because they don't have any other flavors other than chocolate and vanilla. After I had my surgery, about three months after I had my surgery, I couldn't tolerate chocolate or vanilla shakes anymore. So, and I'm about a year and a half out now. So, dang, I'm a year and a half. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, but strawberry, this is the bomb. This is good to me. So, um, it has two net carbs, one sugar, 160 calories, and three grams of fat. All obviously, 30 grams of protein. So, this is about a third of the, or a third, or a fourth, depending on what kind of day I'm having, of the protein that I get in for the day. So that's, that really works out nicely. So I like that. Also um, from GNC, I like the Total Lean Shakes. It's 25 grams of high protein. Um, it also does have a couple of extra added vitamins in it. Some people can't really tolerate those, but um, it's not a, really a problem for me anymore. It used to be because it said I got, they said I had too much B6 in my system, but I think they're, now they're thinking it's just because of this, the way I'm absorbing things. I'm always going to have higher levels, lower levels, whatever, you know what I'm saying? As long as I keep taking my vitamins and still do the regimens that I'm doing, I'm going to be fine and you're going to be fine too. So trust me, it's going to work out. 
But basically, this particular one is banana cream, and I love it. It's like delicious. And also, I have the strawberry one as well. So, these are the two that I like to drink from GNC. Now, this has six grams of fat, which I'm really not worried about the fat content because it's good fat. Because, well, to me, it's good fat because it's like it's not um, super, super heavy, like, and really, really bad. Um, it has three net carbs in it two grams of sugar and it has um, 170 calories so this gets me through the morning like completely through the morning all my protein shakes will do that for me um, you know I'm still big on my Centrax nectar guys Centrax nectar the chocolate truffle one this one has 23 grams of protein um, let's see 23 grams of protein per scoop it also has zero carbs no carbs nothing in it um, and zero fat so it's all in basically what you what you um, I guess add with it so for example I was like, for example I usually use um, what's called the silk coconut milk let me show you guys silk coconut milk this is really really good guys I get it from giant my local giant I'm sure you can get it anywhere I think they sell at shoppers a Wegmans, um, places like that. It's unsweetened, so there's no added sugar. It has less than one carb in per eight ounces, and I only use eight ounces when I mix it with the Centrax Nectar. And I have, um, it has zero protein, which is okay. I mean, it's just a, uh, just a drink, you know, just so I can kind of make it more creamy and taste a little different than just adding plain water to your protein shakes. It kind of shakes it up a bit. If you're not allergic to coconut, this is a really good option. I know a lot of people drink almond milk and soy milk, but I'm allergic to both of those. So I have to, I kind of had to, you know, tweak it to, to my level. And um, it has four grams of fat and yeah, so 45 calories per eight, per eight ounces. So it's not bad. And I really like the taste, so I actually can put it in if I have a little bit of oatmeal, which is very rare. If I have a little bit of oatmeal, I'll put it in there. It's really good. Um, anyway, so I will usually mix the Centrax Nectar with some chia seeds. Chia seeds help me um, with my digestion. Um, they really do. Um, they have a lot of fiber in them, so um, it does help. I put about a and within my my whole protein shake probably about a tablespoon and a half I think the serving is three I just need a tablespoon and a half and it it will get you going if you need it <laughs> so um, again um, with that with that being said as well I also add some PB2 or the Jif peanut uh, powder peanut butter but um, but basically like this particular brand is really really good to me it tastes a little bit sweeter even though there's no added you know, it's like got one sugar in it, just like the PB2, but um, it's really good. You can mix all that together in your protein shake. You can make whatever, like go on Pinterest, find different recipes, um, things that won't, that will keep you from being bored as hell with these protein shakes because they can be very monotonous and it gets to a point where you don't even want them anymore. And that was my problem in the beginning, in my beginning stages, because I was like, oh, I'm just going to mix this um, unjury. I can't do injury, guys. I'm sorry. This injury. I just. Do you see how I pause? Like, oh no. Um, this injury with this water, and then this will be my shake. No, I had to. You have to make it to the point where you can tolerate it. So you know. Um, so I just wanted to also share with you a couple of these flavor packets that I buy. Um, water again can be a very monotonous, very boring. Um, situation you know so you have to make it fun for yourself sometimes so I do add flavor packets so this is a crushed limeade um, there's zero carbs five calories or there's 10 calories in, in one packet and zero zero protein there's like nothing in it basically guys but it still flavors your water it's really good if you're about clean eating and things like that I really wouldn't suggest these necessarily but um, but I tell you what um, I eat clean but these I need these I need these because if I don't I will not drink water sometimes and I do like lemon and lime in my water but that gets for some reason the acid in those two things even I can taste it it tastes really disgusting to me it's sometimes I swear having the surgery is really cool guys um, because it's like it teaches you what you like and what you don't like and then sometimes you can try it again and you like it and sometimes you don't it's just I think it's it's it's, it's a really cool journey I'll just say it like that <laughs> um grape crush tastes just like the damn soda y'all so I think it's good but it's like a flat soda whatever and then and I also have orange crush 
I also do have, and those are the same stats for all three of those, 10 calories, and basically that's it. Now, I do have something that's a little bit, um, I don't drink very often, but when I do, um, I kind of like to, um, it seems like I get a lot more water in when I drink these, which is the Diet Snapple to goes. Um, this is the sweet tea kind. Um, I don't like the peach kind and all that, but the sweet tea is really good. Um, there is two carbs in the whole packet, okay? But I don't mind that um, because I do still count it in my, my fitness pal. I still do that. So I'm just, you know, I still make sure that I count everything. So it is what it is. I still try to stay under 50 to 60 carbs a day. And that's kicking my ass. So just letting you know that. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want to um, as far as fluids. As long as you get... 80 or you get your 64 ounces in you're good to go um a lot of people are having trouble drinking protein shakes like i said go on pinterest um i'll try to put my pinterest information down there because i have a, a i have a um what do you call it a uh a, a board um that basically is called shake it up and it has like a, a whole bunch of recipes and stuff like that for protein shakes that i've tried a lot of them so and i actually like them so you can see also, um, I just made these today. This is kale chips. Who the hell makes kale chips? This chick right here. Um, kale chips, really easy. All you gotta do is take the kale, the leaves off, the, the leaf part off the kale, and then you just uh, make sure they're really dry after you wash them. And then you put in some olive oil, and I use salt and vinegar because I like salt and vinegar chips. And also this is... I kind of PMSing a little bit, sort of, kind of. So I was like, this will be a good alternative, which it is. It's a very healthy alternative. This whole bag is a serving. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do another one on snacks, period, though. Because that one, I do have a lot of like healthy snacks I've been making and things like that. So um, I'll do another video on that because this one's already long as hell. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for bearing with me, guys. I know this is a little long, but I hope you all have a good day. Have a great week. Get your protein in if you can. Make sure you try to get, I, I try to get in at least 90 grams of protein. They said 70 to 80. Um, I think that at my, my stage now, 70, 80 plus. So because I work out five to six times a week, I get in about 110, to, I, sometimes up to 130 grams of protein. And I stay under 60 carbs. So um, yeah, so hope all is well. And um, y'all have a great day and it was good seeing y'all. And um, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And um, enjoy your day. Bye.